Bonjour and welcome to another Alex's review. I hope you're all fine and today we will be talking about the flight deck uh, which is a new version of, I think uh, of the GPS deck by Steve Gore and produced by Penguin Magic. A new Mark deck which is very interesting. So basically, this is a marked deck on the edge, no edge, no edge, edge of the cards, uh, similar to what has been achieved with the Butterfly series. But here, the, the marking takes place in both the big and uh, short border of the of the deck, which is, I think, a great idea because it leaves much more space for the for the marking, and since uh, you will be able to read more easily the, the markings, in my opinion. The flight deck could can be found at 25 to 30 pounds or dollars or euros roughly in this area. Uh, you can buy it from the store in the bio because it helps uh, the reviews. The store send me the products so I can review them and it helps me a lot. So if you do so, thank you so much. Before showing you the deck, feel free to subscribe to this channel if you like my content, uh, like the video and also uh, put a comment if you want me to uh, answer a question or review a specific product. The deck has been uh, manufactured by USPCC, so the quality is very, very good. You first get a double backer, which is a, a great addition. I, I actually never use those. I don't know which routine I could perform with it, but it's included. so. You might choose it. The deck is uh, actually made with the straight line, blue and red one. Um, the design is pretty simple and I love that because I don't want the, the deck to stand out. I want to, it to look like a cheap deck I could buy at an airport or at the train station. Um, the marking takes place, so as I said, both on the big or the long and the short border, which uh, is a great thing because you, as I said, you have much more visual information uh, rather than the butterfly which are very small marking. I love the butterfly but here I think the marking is easier to read at first glance but when you get used to the butterfly it's okay. But here it's it's a little bit more user friendly when you start with the deck and uh, this is a great thing. The deck quality as I said is amazing and the marking, um, you, you get the marking very quickly. If I want uh, Ace of Diamonds for example I can I can use the Ace of Diamonds very easily. It's a shuffle deck. Shuffle, shuffle. I don't control anything and uh, you can use you can use it to find for example i know that the ace of diamonds is five five cards from the bottom so if the if i ask the name of the person it, it's like uh, i don't know mary m a r e e and it's uh, y or i don't know the i've forgotten my letter in english you get the ace of uh, diamonds so it's very interesting because the cards uh, allow you to perform a lot of effect. Several of them are taught in the explanation video, but I, I think as with most Mark deck, it's up to you to use it the way you want. Um, but I really, I really enjoy this deck and, uh, but I won't use it and I will tell you while in the video. So let's start with a quick demonstration. The deck is really shuffled. I don't shit at all. Let's say somebody wants me to cut on the Queen of Hearts. I just do that and I'm able to cut on the Queen of... Uh, uh, no, it's, uh, it's the Eight of Hearts. It's not that bad, but... Or oh, maybe the... Ah, Jack of Hearts. Maybe here... Uh, no, Nine of Diamonds. No, it's okay, it's okay. If I give you the deck and if you take out the Queen, turn it and put it face down, just like this, you have only one card and one card only which has been reversed in the deck and it's actually the Queen of Hearts. So it's a very, sorry for the focus guy, uh, <laughs> it's a very straightforward routine that Steve uh, shared on the Magic Cafe, I think. Um, again, it shows you that you will be able to perform nearly any routine you already perform, but uh, you will be able to find the selected card from the uh, deck shuffled, which is actually a great thing.
Let's start with the cons. My main and only con with this deck is that it's too much different from a bicycle one. And in my gigs, I only use bicycle cards and I don't, I won't be comfortable to pull out this deck after doing an ambitious card with the card torn and folded in quarter and just say, oh, now let's use this deck. And <laughs> yeah, I think it's not, I'm, I won't be comfortable enough to do so. That's why the, if I'm going to be using a Mark deck, I will be using a Maiden or a Rider back or a Mandolin Mark deck and not a very special one like this. Even though I can perform a lot more with them, because the marking allow you to perform several extra routines that are not possible with regular mag deck, if I can say that. Um, I, go, I won't go the extra mile to switch out for this deck. But if you're a hobbyist, which is a great thing, I don't blame that, uh, at the contrary, I think that's a great way of saying, oh, look at my new deck. Okay, you bought a new deck, no problem. And Yes, I think that's the main con for me. Let's go with the pro. It's really, really well made. I love the fact that you can get an instant view of all four car all four cards for the aces, for the twos, for the threes, and so on. Uh, which means that if a card is removed from the deck, it's very easy to know which one. You can also have a direct marking if you uh, do so. I know that. Yes, I know that this card is a seven of hearts. Yes. So it's not a direct marking, but you don't have to use the borders to read the card. You can just take the card, take a look at them. And here it's a queen of hearts. Okay. So a uh, king of hearts. Yes. It's the last one I missed. Uh, okay. So you can have a direct. Let's, let's do another. I don't, I don't want to stop on a, on a miss. Uh, this is a, this is a very, it's a joker. Yes. It's a joker. Uh, it's a, it's a very weird one. Let's, let's try with the regular card. This is the ace of uh, hearts. Okay, very, very easy. And um, I think that combine those two systems, so the hedge, sorry, the edge and the direct marking, you can perform a lot with it. I love that the cards faces are regular. They are not fancy or so on. The, 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 the yellow is a, lit, a little bit washed on the card, but it's fine. And um, I like the fact that it blends quite nicely uh, from the face, actually, with a regular bike, bicycle pack. So that's, that's great. And uh, yes, I love it. The cards are, are really well made. The marking is simple to the point. It does what it says on the tin. So for me, it's a solid three hearts out of four. As for the difficulty, it will depend what routine you want to do with it. But the marking system in, in itself, it's very easy to understand. So two stars out of four. Similar products, of course, you have the, the, the Butterfly series with all the variations um, for this Edge principle. I'm not sure which one was first, the GPS or the Flight or the, the Butterfly. And if you want direct marking, you have the, the DMC. You have a, a new marked deck from uh, Phil Smith because I think Phil Smith and uh, DMC just stopped their collaboration. And you have, uh, of course, the UMD, uh, the Mark deck from Penguin with, uh, I think it's Maiden or Mandolin back. Uh, Jordan Victoria has a Mark deck too, so you have plenty of options. This video is not finished. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope you liked it. Very nice Mark deck, but not for me. Feel free to follow me on the Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and um, leave a comment if you want me to answer any question about this or if you want me to review any other product. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you soon for another, for another Alexis Magic Review. Au revoir.